I'm Adam from the Army Painter, and today in studio we have with us Nick Nanavati, the number one ranked player in the ITC, as we paint up his Orc Army for the Las Vegas Open. The magic of miniature painting is that it can be as simple or as challenging as you'd like it to be. There's a plethora of great techniques out there for you to master, but with a few simple steps, you can achieve some great results. Today, we are in the final, the fourth day of our series, the Spray Paint Dip Done series with Nick Nanavati, leader of the ITC, as we paint his 300 plus model orc army for the Las Vegas Open. We've primed, We've assembled, we've base coated everything, we've dipped the models, and now we are going to mat them down to dull down some of the shininess from the quick shade dip, and we're gonna base the models using our battlefield basing materials. Nick, how excited are you? I'm so excited. Like we, it's been three days, three and a half days, and we're almost done. The light is at the end of the tunnel. I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> we can see it now. So let's go back outside because we have to uh, use a well-ventilated area. Obviously outside's the best for that to use our anti shine matte varnish and check in with that now. As you can see here, Nick is following the instructions printed on the can. He is opening the lid with a screwdriver so as not to harm the nozzle. He's giving the can a good shake and spraying at a distance of 30 centimeters. This is very important. It's important to note here that Nick made a running change. We tested two models and he actually liked the Aegis Suit Satin Varnish uh, as opposed to our anti shine matte varnish. Different strokes for different folks. You see the models piling up here. It's pretty impressive how quick we we're able to get all this done. Now he's applying some Battlefield's basing glue to the base. And this is just very simple, kind of brainless. Add the glue to the base, get some nice even coverage. And now he sprinkles on some Battlefield's rocks to the base. This adds some nice variance to the base because now we're going to actually dip the base into our brown battlegrounds. We're not going to paint the base because our brown battlegrounds and battlefields rocks come in different shades of tan and brown. We use three different tufts when making the bases, swamp tufts, jungle tufts, and actually meadowland flowers. This adds some nice depth and texture to each of the bases. And here's a great example of the spray paint dip done process from left to right, spray paint dipped and done. Four simple steps to a completed army. And just like that, we are complete. The four step process, spray paint dip done army painter technique, this three and a half, four day process that we started. It's been, it's been a wild ride. It's been a wild ride. But the army looks fantastic. Over 300 models done in less than four days. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with you. Thank you. As somebody who's admittedly told me that, that painting is his least favorite part of the hobby, you seem to really enjoy yourself. Yeah, I actually came into this week, like I've been spending the past month mentally preparing myself for how much this is gonna suck, but honestly, I got here and I had a really good time. Like I legitimately enjoyed everything. This was a fun process. Would you say that the simplification of breaking down the steps and the organization has made painting more enjoyable for you? It makes everything go a lot smoother and a lot easier as right. long as you stay organized, which is great. And it just, it comes together so fast that you, you feel the immediate gratification, the real reward hits you super quick, as opposed to painting an army the old fashioned way where you could start now and then three months from now you'll have a finished product. I have a finished product in two days, three days, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> so we've done our part. We've sprayed, we've painted, we've dipped, we have based, and now we are done with the models. Nick still has some work to do. You're not done until you go ahead to the Las Vegas Open and bring home the ITC Championship and the crown victor of the tournament. Well, that's my job, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To everybody out there that has been following along throughout the entirety of this process and to everyone that was following us live, during our Facebook Live recordings. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support and encouragement. It actually really meant a lot to us as we were- Yeah, it really helped kept us motivated. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun just seeing what people took away from the process because this is, uh, it was quite a lofty goal to set for ourselves. I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> but we proved that it is. And if Nick can do it, then I'm pretty sure just about anybody else out there can. So thank you so much again for tuning in. If you don't like us on Facebook already or follow us on Instagram, be sure to find us at The Army Painter. And we love to see your hobby stories, so please share them with us by tagging us using hashtag The Army Painter.